ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان استقى الحديث كتاب الله وخير هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها فان كل محدثه بدع وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله all praise is due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala هو has من علينا هذا الاجتماع who has given us the virtue of this gathering and the blessed house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and which is well known bi idnillah ta'ala to be a salafi masjid bi idnillah ta'ala and in this blessed masjid in college park georgia which is in the atlanta region bi idnillah as we know this masjid is known as masjid is ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala an and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first to be upon the aqeedah of ibn abbas ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala an and in this by the fadl and the virtue of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is allowed us to be able to finish the a uh, tremendous a uh, this tremendous book of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and that is the six lofty principles that is uh, al usul as sitta the six lofty principles bi idnillah ta'ala and in this as we said before that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the tawfiq bi idnillah that the brothers and the sisters they was able bi idnillah ta'ala to listen to the explanation of that tremendous book of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and we said that book is al-usul as-sitta the six uh, lofty fundamentals or principles and in that from the benefits of that and as we said before that is from the da'wah of Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab until now in these days and times from what from from uh, centuries from years ago that the Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab Uh, that Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab started calling to the first thing in which the Muslims are to call to that thing which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa sallam commanded Mu'ayy ibn Jabal and he also commanded other than him who went to Al Yamin and he told them that it be the first thing that you call to that is a tawhid the meaning of la ilaha illallah so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this instance ya barakallahu fikum we were allowed by the vir- the virtue of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make to make that to make that those lessons bi idnillah ta'ala beyond the scales 
Ah uh, uh, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab be on his scales of good and also on the scale of Muhammad ibn Ab- ibn Muhammad Aman ibn Ali al-Jami. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it be on his scale also for the explanation which he brought to us, that in which he gave us, and we were able to convey it to the rest of the Muslims uh, uh, who are present here in Masjid ibn Abbas, and also those who are from the sisters and the brothers, and those who are uh, listening bi Allah and bi Allah those who are uh, the exp- those explanations will be conveyed to upon the recordings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to be from the mukhlisin bi Allah from those who are only doing it for the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after finishing and after finishing there was a a, a debate within myself what is it which the which would be suitable for the people after the explanation of al usul al usul as sitta what would be more what would be munasib for the people for their level for their for their state for the state of the community for the situation of the women for the situation of the brothers for from the situation at whole that which will be beneficial and of course all of the books of the ulama would be beneficial but without a doubt we have to choose those things which would be or be of more benefit at that time and upon the level of that which the people are able to understand and benefit from also bi idnillah ta'ala so we chose bi idnillah ta'ala to read from a tafsir of juz'am and from that and from that surah from the chapter in which we chose bi idnillah that is the tafsir of uh, surah at takathur uh, the surah at takathur which is commonly translated as the piling up, I believe. It's commonly translated as the piling up. One of the translations, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. As Allah, as, as we begin bi-idhnillahi ta'ala, and we begin, A'udhu billahi minash shaytan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhaakumu takathur hatta zurtumul maqabir The mutual rival uh, for piling up of worldly things diverts you until you visit the grave, i.e. until you die. Kalla sawfa ta'lamoon Nay, you shall know. Thumma kalla sawfa ta'lamoon Again, nay, you shall, uh, you shall know. Kalla law ta'lamoon ilm al Kalla law ta'lamuna ilm al And in this uh, night, if you knew with, with, with a sure knowledge, and in parentheses the end result of piling up, and you would, ha- you would have, you would have not been occupied yourselves in worldly things. لَتَرَوُنَّ الجحيم. And then you will see the fire. ثُمَّ لَتَرَوُنَّهَا عَيْنَ الْيَقِينَ And then you will see it with the sight of certainty. ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَلِ النَّعِيمِ And then you will be asked on that day concerning the na'im, all of those delights in which one has endured, has, has, has indulged in this life بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى الشيخ الثامين رحمه الله تعالى he goes on to say البسمة لا تقدم الكلام عليها he said as far as بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the speech regarding that has proceeded بإذن الله تعالى that which is known as the بسمة لا he goes on Allah سبحانه وتعالى he says ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر and as we said now, as we said before that as we said before, that the, the mutual rivalry, meaning of the uh, piling up, uh, has distracted you. المقابر, and until the point where you will visit the grave, meaning 
that you will die. The Shaykh goes on to say here, هذه الجملة هذه الجملة جملة خبرية يخبر الله عز وجل بها العباد مخاطبا مخاطبا لهم and Allah he says here uh, Shaykh Uthaymin explains this as saying that this is a, a, a sentence which is a sentence of information of news Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he informs with it the worshippers speaking to them, addressing them regarding it. يَقُولَ أَلْهَاكُمُ التَّكَاثُرُ And he says here, and, and he's, <coughs> the mutual rivalry as we said before. وَمَعْنَا أَلْهَاكُمْ The meaning of أَلْهَاكُمْ here, أَيُّ شَغَّلَكُمْ حَتَّى لَهَوْتُمْ عَنْ مَا هُوَ أَهَمْ He said, you have been busy You've been busied with this until you have even become in a state of playing and taking it as a game regarding that which is more important. Min zikri Allah from the from the from the the, the remembrance of Allah wal qiyama bi ta'ati and establishing His obedience wal khitab huna li jami al umma and here the speech now this addressment. Is towards all of the ummah, the whole nation. Illa annahu yakhus, illa bihim. Shagalathum umur dunya, shagalathum umur al, shagalathum, shagalathum umur al akhira an umur al dunya, wa hum kalil. And he said, except that he has made it specific for those who the the affairs of the last. The, the affairs of the next life has busied them away from the, fear, the affairs of this worldly life. And he said, but they are, they are a few. They are not many in numbers. إِنَّمَا نَقُلُهُمْ قَلِيلٌ لِأَنَّهُ ثَبَتَ فِي الصَّحِيحَيْنِ And we'll say that they are only a few because of that which has been established in the Sahihain. And the Sahihain as we know is to be what? Huh? Bukhari al Bukhari wa Muslim. And he, as he said, as it's been established in the Sahih Hang, and Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala Yaqul Yawm al Qiyama, that has been established in the two authentic the two, the two authentic books of Al Bukhari and uh, and Muslim that in the hadith that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah the blessed one the Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala that he says he would that he would, he would say on Yom Al Qiyama, Ya Adam. He would say, Oh Adam, Yaqul al Abek al was was Adaik wal Khair fi Adaik. He he would say, Al Abek was Adaik wal Khair fi Adaik. For Yaqul and this is the Shahid in in, in the Hadith. For Yaqul, Akhrij min Zuriya min Zuriyatik bi'athan min al Nar. And he would say, uh, uh, Bring out. From your lineage, uh, a certain amount from the fire, uh, 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 to the fire. And he would say, well, what is this? What, how many do I bring out? Meaning, He said that from every thousand, from every thousand, I want you to bring out 999. From every thousand, I want you to bring out to the fire from your lineage, which will go to the fire, will be 999. So that means from every thousand, there is only one one to go to where? To the paradise. So from this, this hadith, for those who would, would like to read some more about it, bi'ithnillah, you will find it in the Bukhari, you will find it 6,500. 30. 6,530. Tayyib. Shaykh Uthameen Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he goes on. And bi'ithni we're reading from the tafsir of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you will find those from the Hizbis and those from Ikhwan al Muslimin, you will find them unfortunately outdoing us. They, you will find them. You will find them trying to cling to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
Even though if they have not the proper understanding of it. But as we say, and I mentioned to the brothers, and I mentioned to the sisters, that we are known as Ahl Quran was Sunnah. This is one of the names of the Salafis also. We're the people of the what? The Quran. And we're the people of the Sunnah. So it's upon us, not just that one knows the Sunnah, it's upon us so that he knows the Book of, book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also. And we're not to be like those who are putting the book behind us. That is an encouragement that we aid those who are able to teach the children and teach to have them come to the masjid. Aid them with ourselves. Aid them with our monies. Aid them with our dua. So that we can have a generation instead of having a lost generation. Instead of having a generation who knows those kids who have not, who know when you when you say when you say Abu Bakr, they know who it is. When you say Mustafa, they don't say who is that. They know that there is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That that when you mention some of the names of the people of the ten uh, people who've been guaranteed Jannah, they know those names. Allow them to uh, allow uh, allow the brothers who have the ability aid them with your money and yourselves, your ikhwan. And send your children to the masjid in order so that they can have a proper foundation. Do not wait. Do not become mutasahileen. Do not be from those who are like going. And as Sheikh Muhammad Amani says, don't be tricked by shaitan to believe that because if you are, if you are encouraging your child uh, at the age of four or five or six, to memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are from the mutashaddideen. This is not correct. Do not allow yourself to be fooled, ya ikhwan. Because as you will find in the land of the Muslims and the brothers who are out of here, they will tell you this is something that is normal. That the child, he goes to the masjid at the age of four, at the age of five, at the age of six. And he begins to memorize the book of Allah with those who are in there who are five or those who have the ability and have the correct the correct pronunciation that you will find the children in there you will find them memorizing the book of Allah to the point where most of them you will find them finishing at the age of 10 and then at the age of 10 or 12 they begin now to memorize the matun the text from the different books like Kitab Tawheed and Al-Usul Salatha and so forth like these different matun so it's an encouragement bi'ibnillah. And do not be. And this is strictly and specifically for the women. You will find the women from them. You will have them being. You will find them being soft. And you find the reason. And you see the hikmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That he forbids the woman. He forbids the woman from marrying. Who? The, 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 uh, in anyone except that he is Muslim. He forbids the, pe- the woman. To marry a kafir. To marry a kafir. Because we know whatever the husband is up on, the woman, she's going to follow him in that. And do not be, sister, do not become mutasahilat. And you say to your husband, why are you forcing him? He's only a little kid. He hasn't even reached the age of puberty. You are being too harsh on him. Let him enjoy his childhood and all of the nonsense which you will find. The women saying in and out daily. And some of them have gotten to the point now. They have become the imam for the men. Well now after a while. And after a while of marriage and marital bliss. You find the man now he has adapted the same saying. And he's saying the same thing. He might even quote and say well from what my wife is saying. That you know um, this is you know oppression. It shouldn't be like this. No we're going to be man. We're going to be mine. We're going to stand up, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala. We're going to let her know that this is my son. I am the man. We run things. We are the ones who run this. And you're not the one who runs it in, in this house. Bi'ithnillahi ta'ala. And this is not something which the woman should now frown upon. Uh, uh, why, why does the brother have to say this? No, no. Ya ikhwat al-islam. Ya akhawat. It's a must that we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what does he say? Laysa dhakaru kal umtha. That the man is not like the woman. There's a place, there's a high and lofty place for the woman. Also, there's a place for the man. It comes to the salat, 
The man is the one who's going to lead the salat. It comes to the azan, the man is the one who's going to call the azan. When it comes to the fears of the dawah and so forth like that, the man is the one who's going to handle it. And he has that strong backbone behind him, bithnillah, from the women, from the sisters. And she's going to aid. She's going to aid in what? She's going to aid in typing. She's going to aid in recording. She's going to aid in helping them with the books. She's going to aid when gathering something. Uh, can you get this for me? Can you get that for me? Not that she's the one that's running things. No, this is not the way it is. Ya fikum. So you encourage your kids. Do not be from those who have been uh, tricked by the women or those who have been tricked by shaitan, ya ikhwan, that it's a must that we start to pick up the book of Allah and memorize the book of Allah and be able to quote the evidences from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that, so that we do not become from those people who are heedless, ghafiloon, as it relates to the book of Allah and also in understanding it, ya barakallahu fikum. This is something that is, that is very much encouraged and it's encouraged very much so by the ulama. As Shaykh Uthameen rahimahullah ta'ala, he goes on. As he said regarding this, uh, and he brought the hadith in this, as we said the, shah, the shahid from it, is that, is that uh, from this hadith, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to Adam to bring, to bring out, out of your lineage, um, uh, out of your, your lineage a certain amount, that which will go to the fire. He said, "How many? Basically, how many will that be?" He said to him, "From every, from uh, from from every thousand, it will be nine hundred and ninety-nine." Shabbat Allah Taala goes on to say, "Wahidun fil jannah, wal baqi fil nar." He said that one will be in the uh, in the paradise, and the rest will be in the fire. Hada adadun ha'il. He said, this is a strong, firm number. This is a severe number, ya ikhwan, that from every thousand, that there won't be one person from this hadith, which will go into the paradise, and the rest will be into the fire. إِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ مِنْ بَنِي آدَمْ إِلَّا وَاحِدْ مِنَ الْأَلْفِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ وَالْبَاقُونَ مِنْ أَهْلِ النَّارِ Except that there will be one that will go to, will be from the people of Jannah, and the rest will be from the people of the fire. Even for the khitab bil umum, with this ayah, jar, jar, ala asli. And he said, in, in reality, this uh, this addressment is something is something that is uh, general. لأن الواحد من الألف ليس بشيء بالنسبة إليه. And he said that because one from a thousand is nothing as it compares to this one thousand. Um, as for his saying, تكاثر, meaning that you're piling up. بالمال, and he said, as for the as for this piling up, it relates to and it con- and it contains the piling up of money. وتكاثر بال بالقبيلة. And also the piling up of Al Kabila, your tribe. What takathur bil jar. And also the takathur with bil jar. And this is a um, uh, uh, status. What takathur bil ilm. And also the piling up as it relates to ilm. What be kulli ma yumkin an yaqafihi at tafakhur. And in everything in which. You can find a tafakhur in it, in everything that you that you can find, basically like showing off in it. We do look at that, 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 and you will find that that which shows to that is that which shows to those examples of piling up of money, piling up of your um. Your kabila, your tribe, piling up of status, piling up of ilm, and all of this, what shows to that bi'ithnillah ta'ala is the saying of Allah, uh, is the saying of the one who had the gen- who had the garden. Uh, and he said to his companion, and you'll find this ayah in Surah Al Kahf, you'll find it the 34th ayah, as he said to him, Ana aktharu minka malan wa azu nafara. And he said to him, 
that I am greater. I am greater than you in money and also I am, I am, I am better than you or I have more uh, power than you for lack of better words. Is that? Uh, uh, in, uh, I have, we have more Isa in our numbers. We're more numberful, bithnillah, for lack of a better translation. فَالْإِنسَانِ قَدْ يَتَكَاثَرْ بِمَالِهِ For a person, it's possible that you will find him piling up his money. فَيَطْلُبُ أَنْ يَكُونَ أَكْثَرٌ مِنَ الْآخَرْ مَالًا And he seeks, and he requests, seeks to be more than the one. He, he uh, seeks to be, seeks to have more money than the other. Seeks to have more money than the other. Or he's more expensive as it relates to, to in, in, in his business. And it's possible also is that you will find a person seeking to pile up as it relates to his tribe. And he will say that we are greater than you in numbers. كَمَا قَالَ الشَّاعِرِ As the poet, he says, وَلَسْتَ بِالْأَكْثَرِ مِنْ مِنْهُمْ حَصَاءٍ وَإِنَّمَا الْعِزَّةُ لِلْكَاثُرِ وَإِنَّمَا الْعِزَّةُ وَإِنَّمَا الْعِزَّةُ لِلْكَاثِرِ And here, in this, the line of poetry, بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى أَكْثَرُ مِنْهُمْ حَصَاءٍ He's greater than them as it relates to, to this hasa لِأَنَّهُمْ كَانُوا فِي مَا سَبَقْ يَعُدُّونَ الْأَشْيَا بِالْحَصَى فَمَثَلًا The Shaykh says, فَمَثَلًا إِذَا كَانَ هَؤُلَاء حَصَاؤُهُمْ عَشْرَةُ آلَافِ وَالْآخَرُونَ حَصَاؤُهُمْ ثَمَانِيَ آلَافِ صَارَ الْأَوْلْ أَكْثَرْ وَعَزْ فَيَقُولُ الشَّاعِرْ وَلَسْتَ بِالْأَكْثَرِ وَلَسْتَ بِالْأَكْثَرِ مِنْهُمْ حَصَى وَإِنَّمَا الْعِزَّةُ بِالْكَاثِرِ وَإِنَّمَا الْعِزَّةُ لِلْكَاثِرِ طيب So now, طيب uh, خير As this, this kalima here, حَصَى here is like small pebbles as they used to count things like that So all of that So if uh, so the shaykh he says here for example If uh, they were, if their pebbles were, were for instance um, ten thousand. The others were theirs were were, were eight uh, thousand. Then it would be that the first would be uh, uh, greater in number and better. Uh, and this is the reason why the the poet he says this uh, poetry. Uh, the Sheikh he goes on to say, "Kadalika yataka for the insan bil ilm." And also like that, the the person uh, and like this, you will find a person. He will pile up. As it relates to him, for tajidhu yatakathir ala khairihi bil ilm, and you will find him piling up upon others, uh, uh, other than himself, as it relates to him. And this here, you will, uh, it, it, it has to become obvious that this is the kind of uh, thing as it relates to him that is uh, that is not something that's praiseworthy. He said, "Walakin in kana bil ilm al shari." Okay, the Shaykh explains it. He said, if this is with ilm, that's legislated ilm, then it is good. And if it's with ilm, with ilm that is not uh, legis- uh, legislative knowledge, then then it's either it's, it's either uh, that's something that that is permissible or something that is forbidden. It's like, and this is what you will find the most as it relates to the children of Adam, the children of Adam, is this piling up. Until you visit the graves, meaning until you die. يعني إلى أنزر إلى إلى أنزرتم المقابر until you visit the graves يعني إلى أن مُتُم until you die فالإنسان مجبول على التكاثر إلى إلى أن يموت because the person because the person he is because the person he is shaped and formed uh, and he's influenced basically by this t- uh, piling up until he dies بل كلما ازداد كلما 
بل كل كل ما يزداد به الكبر يزداد به العمل and even the person the every time the more you will find him being more hardy and prideful you will find him also increasing you will find him increasing in that with hope for who you sheep up his sin where you should be where you should and you will find him uh you will find him going gray in age and also but you will find him having a lot of hope hatta in rajul له تسعون سنة مثلا مثلا تجده عنده من الآمال طول الأمل ما ليس عند الشاب الذي له خمس عشر خمس عشر سنة. He said you will find the likes of those he might be he might be ninety years old for example. You will find him having all of these long all of these hopes uh, all, uh, all kinds of length. Uh, uh, wide span expansive hopes and you will find he will have more hopes than the one who is young for instance the one who might be 15 years old hadha huwa ma'na al aya al karima ayyu annakum ayyu annakum meaning that you all have uh, uh, been distracted with this pattern up and al akhirah الى ان مؤتم until the time when you die وقيل ان معنى حتى زرتم المقابر and it said the meaning of the meaning of until you um, visit the grave حتى اصبحتم تتكاثرون بالاموات كما تتكاثرون بالاحياء it said until it said one of the meanings uh, is that you have become from those who are now begin to pile up as it relates to the dead the, uh, the way you pile up doing the piling up as it relates to uh, the living. فَيَأْتِيَ الْإِنسَانِ فَيَقُولُ أَنَا قَبِيلَتِي أَكْثَرَ أَنَا قَبِيلَتِي أَكْثَرَ مِنْ قَبِيلَتِكَ Is you will find one who will come and he will say that my قَبِيلَ my قَبِيلَ my tribe is greater than yours. فَإِذَا شِئْتُمْ فَذْهَبْ إِلَى الْقُبُورِ And if you will, then go to the grave. عُدِ الْقُبُورِ minna, And then they would even say, if you if you will wish, then go to the graves. Then count them up. وَعُدِ الْقُبُورِ مِنْكُمْ And then count the graves from us. And then count the graves from you all. فَأَيُّنَا أَكْثَرُ So in which of us is greater? وَلَكِنْ هَذَا قَوْلٌ ضَعِيفٌ But this is a weak statement. بَعِيد مِنْ سِيَاقِ الْآيَةِ But, and it's far away from the siyaq. The sequence of the of the ayah of the verse. Well, ma'na al-awwal huwa sahih, and the first meaning is that which is correct. Which was the first meaning? The first meaning is that which was correct. Correct. We read the first meaning, and we read the, the second meaning. What is the first meaning? Fadl. No, the statement. The hatta zurtum al-maqabir. Until you visit. The, the graves until you die and what is the second meaning anyone this is the reason why I stop to make sure it's not entertainment you have to pay attention what is the second meaning to go and count the graves so the sheikh he said that the second meaning is ba'id and it's ba'if he said the second meaning is that which is weak the first meaning is that which we hold on to uh بإذن الله تعالى. طيب قوله حتى زرتم المقابر. The saying of until you visit the graves. Until you all visit the graves. استدل به عمر بن عبد العزيز. And Umar ibn Abd Aziz, he used this as evidence. رحمه الله على أن الزائر لا بد أن يرجع إلى وطنه. But the fact that the visitor is a must that he returns back to his place. وَأَنَّ الْقُبُورِ لَيْسَتْ بِدَارِ إِقَامَةً And that the graves is not a place of إِقَامَةً meaning that you will be there forever. وَكَذَلِكَ يَذْكُرُ عَنْ بَعْدَ الْعَرَابِ أَنَّهُمْ سَمِعْ قَارِي يَقْرَحْ And that they heard one of the reciters saying أَلْهَاكُمُ تَكَاثُرْ حَتَّى زُرْتُمُ الْمَقَابِرِ You are in the state of this piling up until you reach the graves. قال والله ما الزائر بمقيم والله لا 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 نبعثن. and he said 
know that the, 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 the Zahir is not Muqeem, the visitor, is not staying. Wallah, we will be resurrected. لَأَنَّ Zahir كَمَا هُوَ مَعْرُوفِ يَزُورُ وَيَرْجِعُ Because the visitor, as that which is known, as that which is known, ya ikhwan, that he visits and he returns. Huh? He visits, uh, we could apply it to he visits this, this worldly life. Then he returns back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, 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 and we know all the, the, the evidences which follows this up to show us that we are just visitors in this life, bithnillahi ta'ala. And to make sure that we live our life as if we are visitors. Some of us, we set up in this life as if we have a life, and, and, and as if we're going to be here until the first trumpet blows. Or that we're going to be here uh, for uh, we've been uh, given an exception, uh, an exemption that we're going to be here for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and we become we become distracted by the worldly things to the point where you find you find that uh, uh, look at the example of those people who are not upon that which is correct, and you find them uh, you find them giving their monies for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. All of this, ya ikhwan, is to be applied. It's not to be just to be read. It's to be applied. It's to be understood. And it's to be applied that we do not try to pile up the money in this worldly life to the point where it becomes something that is over excessive. It becomes something that is over excessive. You find that those people who are upon that which is incorrect, you find them giving their monies for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you find those who are upon that which is correct, you find them being stingy and my and migal and niggardly. You find them being stingy. You find them being migly and all of this, not want to give their monies for Allah. You hear the word for Allah. Why won't they give that? Because they are not in favor. They do. They are not in favor of those people who are running the masjid. This is all from the tricks of Shaitan. Know that. Know that إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ That all of everything coincides with this tremendous hadith. That all deeds are judged by the intentions. That if anyone, that if anyone, uh, if anyone gives their money, it's not, it's not upon them to say, I'm not going to give my money because I don't like this person. No, you give your money for Allah. And that which is between the people who are responsible is between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bi ithnillah, you will get your you will receive your reward. And in this and in this ayah, as the Shaykh he said, that we know we're going to we uh, as uh, as we uh, as we said here that the, the the one who visits is a must that he returns and will be resurrected, ya ikhwan. And we're going to be resurrected and we're going to be naked. We're going to be uncircumcised. We're going to be barefooted, ya ikhwan. We're going to be in front of our Lord. And we will not be wondering. It will not for the most beautiful woman that you will see in this dunya. As beautiful as your wife is. And everyone, every man believes that his wife is the most beautiful, is the most beautiful woman in the world. And if he does not believe that, at the least he should be letting her know that, Ikhwan. Huh? Should be letting her know that, inshallah. Uh, you brothers, mashallah, you, spoke, you kicked all of that before Islam. You remember, the older brothers, anybody 40 and above, you remember you had to rehearse the lines. Huh? Uh, what you gonna, you know, you practice it for two weeks, this woman has been waiting for her. No, I can't say that. Let me erase this. But we come to Islam, and we become, we, we, we just become, what? yeah, like the brother said, you guys who come from the 60s and 70s, you know the word as being a Mac. Huh? But we come to Islam, and we forget the halal Mac in now, Juan. We're not talking about, we're not talking about downtown Atlanta now. We're talking the halal Mac in Bidnillah. And we call it in Jamaica, we call it being a dandada. <laughs> we call it being a dandada. There's nothing wrong with that in a sense, Ikhwan. 
Make the woman feel loved and beautiful. But it has to reciprocate. Sisters, you cannot be walking around the house now with the Aunt Jemima, with the peas and saying, I'm not getting the hair done and putting the sweat uh, sweatpants on with the coffee stains in it. It will not work. It has to reciprocate. And I'm not saying it to be funny. I'm saying it, Bismillah, maybe it will save someone. Marriage was on the rocks. Sister, if you're, if you're depressed, brother, if you're fed up, inshallah, uh, try to resurrect that Bismillah by telling her some proper some proper things as we say Bismillah ta'ala and as you guys say in America some sweet nothings Bismillah to rectify that Bismillah Tayyip so the point where we deviated upon that what I was trying to get to and something else came to my mind and I just had to remind the brothers of that you know uh, the point I'm getting to is it does not matter Yom al Qiyamah of how voluptuous that woman is. How voluptuous, how beautiful, or how, whatever you say, whether you say it in, in, in Jamaican term, in American term, you know the term that I mean for that woman that you are considered to be a very, very attractive woman. Okay? Let's not go further into that business. But Yom al you will not look at her for a second. Even if she's standing beside you. Because on that day, it's going to be nafsi, nafsi. It's going to be myself. Just myself I'm going to worry about. Yawma yafirru mar'u min akhi. On the day when a person will run from his brother. Wa ummihi wa abi. And his mother and his father. Wa sahibatihi wa akhi. And his wife and also his brother. On that day will not be worrying if she is as voluptuous as we like him, as she's as tall as we like him, as she's as skinny as we like him, as she, as she light skinned, as you guys say, as you brothers say, light skinned or dark skinned, you're not going to be worrying about that. Ah, ah, yom al qiyamah, when that sweat is up to your ankles, or it's up to your knees, or it's up to your necks, and you know what you've done, and you know that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive you and does not allow you to be from those who will be from the 70,000 people الَّذِينَ يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ بِلَا حِسَابِ وَلَا عَذَابِ that you know you're going to be from those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to punish and you know what you did and you're begging your Allah you're begging him for his mercy oh Allah have mercy upon him do not do not punish me for my wrongdoings we know that on that day it's going to be all like this doesn't matter it does not matter what, 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 what she looks like it doesn't matter what it is, but uh, can you? No, I cannot help you. Yom al you're not going to help anyone. It's going to be nafsi. It's going to be myself. So sometimes, as our brother, as our brother said, uh, as our brother uh, Abu Abdul Salam said, sometimes now we have to internalize. See, see how our dawa is in the middle course. We internalize and we externalize, huh? We concentrate on ourselves. We look within ourselves. See if we are up to par. See if we are falling short in sins. See if we are falling short in our aqidah. See if we are falling short in our ibadah. Then also when it's time now to externalize and refute Ahlul Bidah. We are not just one track or one way or one speech. None of that. No. We speak about Sharh Sunnah. We refute Ahlul Bidah. We speak about the tafsir of, uh, of the Qur'an, the book of Allah. We speak about the manhaj of the Anbiya, the calling to Tawheed. We speak about the fiqh of Tahara. We do all of this, ya ikhwan. But when it's time to now, when it's time now to clean house, sometimes you have to go in the house and clean house. When it's time to clean house, then you have to clean up your brother, clean up your sister, there's also nothing wrong with that. But just make sure that also we're balanced. We're teaching, we're refuting. We're teaching, we're refuting. We're teaching people how to make wudu. We're teaching people how to memorize the Quran. We're teaching people in the hadith. We're teaching people the matun. Usul al-thalatha. Usul al-sitta. All of this. But also, when it's time to say that this guy, he's a mubtidi. He's a Sufi. He's a khwani. Who wants everyone to be upon one hand. Upon one hand 
And they say, نَعْذِرُ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا That we will excuse each other. That we will نتفق. نَتَعَوْنُ عَلَى مَتَّفَقْنَا عَلَيْهِ That we will work together upon that which we agree upon. وَنَعْذِرُ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا And that we're going to excuse each other upon that which we disagree upon. As long as we can all come to that together, all of this is bothered in falsehood. And there's people who are covertly, they're not saying it out loud, but they're covert. You know, like when uh, you brothers who, who, were, who were in the, 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 the military, you know that you know that the hogs did not go in when it was time for the precision action. It was, he, the hogs go and take everybody out. The grunts, as they say. Everybody goes. But now when the precision people comes in, you don't even know they landed. They land. They land. And they come in the cloak of darkness. In the name of what? Salafia. Huh? They come in the cloak of darkness in the name of Salafia. So now the Sufi. No, 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 inshallah, that's, that's not Hikmah. But he has Salafi brothers going out on 40 days. Because they don't know any brother, they're, they're new. So, okay, don't say anything. That's not Hikmah. This is all nonsense. This is the kind of who? Ikhwan al Muslimin. What do they want? They want all of us to be upon one hand. And what don't they want us to speak about? Tawheed. Why? لِأَنَّ التَّوْحِيدِ يُفَرِّقَ النَّاسِ Because a Tawheed now, they say it divides the people. Huh? And we're going to agree with them. Be patient. We're going to agree with them that it divides the people. It divides the people that between uh, the people of Haq, it divides the Haq from the Batil. It divides the truth from falsehood. What's wrong with that? Are you happy with now coming together? And even you will find Ikhwan Muslimin in Muslim, they have, they have gone so far, they even have a Nasrani on their board, they have a Christian, as uh, Sheikh al Fawzan says in Manaj al Jadida. A Christian, doesn't matter. A Shi'i. That says, uh, that, that, that says Abu Bakr is a kafir. Rafidi. From the Shia. From the Rawafid. That Abu Bakr is a kafir. It's okay. Let's just leave that off. Because what? What's the rule? We're going to work together upon what? What we agree upon. We disagree. We're going to excuse each other. But long as we can move forward. Huh? This is the principle. Long as we can move forward, we're, we, have, we have progress. Huh? Does this sound attractive to you, brothers? Did you accept Al-Islam to be hoodwinked? How did some of you older brothers feel when you were hoodwinked by Elijah Pool? You felt very uh, um, calm, didn't you? So, would you rather the brothers, those who have the ability, and they have the understanding from the ulama, and know better, would you want them to allow you to be hoodwinked? Or do you want them to clarify so, all right, okay now. Let's give an example. You have a person. He's Ikhwani. He might, he might be Sufi. He might be Tablighi. But he was tricked. He's ignorant. He's ignorant. He's miskin. He doesn't know anything. He just knows he likes the brother that called him to that. And he's going to go along with it. Because he likes the brother. But now you have the head of them. In Bangladesh, India, whatever. The head of them. Do you treat those two the same? They're up on the same thing? Why not? Why don't you treat them the, ch- the same? For them? Because one is, one is upon Dalala and the other one is upon Hawa. So no. They have different rulings. No. So because you have the one here who, he's upon that which is a uh, deviation, but he's upon it based upon Taqlid and he doesn't understand, he doesn't know any better. But the one now, the caller to it, the call to that Jamaat Tabliq, the Khwan Muslimin, the Sufiya, all of this, you treat them different. Why? Because now you have to let the people know, Fulan, he is a Tabliqi. He's going to lead you astray. He's Dalun Mudil. He's astray and he's going to lead you astray. This is what has to be understood. 
So we like to make you know everything clear to everyone because everyone always have the perception is that the, we are on the Salafis are only going to present everything as one and make no differentiation. This is not true and this is not correct. Tayyib in this. Tayyib as we said, by Allah will be resurrected, ya khwan. Wahada hu al haq. And this is the truth. Wahada na'rif. Wahada na'rif wa annama yath, annama yathkuruhu ba'du nas al an fil jiraid wa gayriha. And know for sure that that which is mentioned by some of the people today uh, in, in the different uh, papers and magazines or newspapers or whatever like that. And other than it, يَقُولُ عَنِ الرَّجُلْ إِذَا مَاتْ إِنَّهُ انْتَقَلَ إِلَى مَثْوَاهُ الْأَخِيرُ And they say that if a person, he if he dies, then he goes to his final uh, abode, his final uh, resting place. إِنَّ هَذَا الْكَلَامُ إِنَّ هَذَا كَلَامٌ بَاطِلٌ وَكَذِبٌ That verily indeed, this kalam is something that is false and is a lie. لِأَنَّ الْقُبُورُ لِأَنَّ الْقُبُورُ لَيْسَ هِيَ الْمَثْوَى الْأَخِيرُ Because the grave is not the final uh, resting place. بَلْ هُوَ بَلْ لَوْ أَنَّ الْإِنسَانِ اتَّقَرَ مَدْلُولُ هَذَا اللَّفْ لَصَارَ كَافِرًا بِالْبَعْثِ And this person, if he, someone be, begins to believe as this uh, shows, that which this phrase shows towards, then he has become a disbeliever as it regards the resurrection, the ba'ath. وَالْكَافِرُ بِالْبَعْثِ رِدَّةٌ عَنِ الْإِسْلَامِ وَالْكُفْرُ أَسْفِ وَالْكُفْرُ بِالْبَعْثِ رِدَّةٌ عَنِ الْإِسْلَامِ And anyone who disbelieves in the resurrection, this is ridda, this is going out, this is exiting from an Islam. وَلَكِنْ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ يَأْخُذُونَ الْكَلِمَاتِ وَلَا يَدُرُّونَ وَلَا يَدُرُونَ وَلَا يَدْرُونَ مَعْنَاهَا But you will find people, a lot of people who will take on these different words and do not know the meaning of it. وَلَعَلَّ هَاذِهِ وَلَعَلَّ هَاذِهِ مَوْرُوثَةٌ عَنِ الْمُلْحِدِينَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُقِرُّونَ بِالْبَعْثِ بَعْدِ الْمَوْتِ And maybe this is from the, maybe this is from the, 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 the effects uh, from the atheists those who do not believe in the resurrection after death. لهذا يجب يجب تجنب وهذا يجب تجنب هذه العبارة. So because of that, it's a must that you leave off these different uh, these different sayings. فلا يقال عن القبر عن القبر إنه المثوى الأخير. It is not said regarding regarding the قبر that is the last uh, resting place. لأن المثوى الأخير إما الجنة because the final place, the final uh, uh, play, the final abode is either الجنة وإما النار في يوم القيامة. It is either the paradise and it's either or the يوم القيامة or is either the paradise or the fire, the day of our uh, resurrection or the يوم القيامة in the hereafter. ثم قال الله تعالى and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says كلا سوف تعلمون and he's like you know كلا without a doubt here and, and they translate it as nay but uh, Allah in, in, in Arabia he has a stronger meaning than that you, you, you tell someone you can, you tell, you, your son asks you يمكن أذهب إلى الدكان can I go to the store you say to him لا تذهب Oh, you say to him, La. You say to him, La. And he comes back and asks you again. And you say, uh, You say to him, Kalla. This is now putting more emphasis upon it. Letting him know, listen, you need to um, relax yourself and know that you're not going to the store. Tremendous in me. No, like emphasize. No, without a doubt. Kalla, sofa ta'lamun. Thumma kalla, sofa ta'lamun. Nay, you're going to know. This is the day. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already warned us that حَتَّى زُرْتُمُ الْمَقَابِرِ You're going to be on this path of piling up until you reach the grave, until you die. So now, when you reach the, uh, this uh, yaqeen here, you will have, you will know. 
ثم كلا سوف تعلمون وذارت again وذارت doubt you're going to know قيل إن كلا بمعنى بمعنى رجع يعني يعني ارتعدوا ارتعدوا أسف ارتعدوا عن هذا هذا التكاثر this is meaning here so this كلا meaning here is a discouragement do not do that وقيل إنها بمعنى حقا and it said also is with the meaning of without a doubt true truly it's going to happen معنى سوف تعلمون أي سوف تعلم تعلمون عقابة أمور أمركم this means سوف تعلمون and you will know meaning that you're going to know you're going to know the the result the punishment of your affair إذا رجعتم إلى الآخرة if you return back to the if you if you if you return back to the hereafter if you go to the hereafter وأن هذا التكاثر لا ينفعك and know that this piling up does not benefit you and indeed you shall know and uh, indeed you shall know regarding your affair in uh, in the akhirah in, in the afterlife وهذا التكاثر and this piling up does not benefit you قد جاء في الحديث عن النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم فيما رأوه مسلم in the hadith is comes in the hadith on the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in that which Muslim he not he um compiles يقول ابن آدم يقول ابن آدم ما لي وما لي ابن آدم the son of Adam he would say my money my money يعني يتفخر يفتخر أسف يفتخر به that he is bragging now يتبجح he is showing off He's bragging about my money. You know the brothers. They say, "Yeah, you don't worry about it. I got paper." You know the. You know I'm banked up. All of this bragging, not saying "Mashallah," not saying "Alhamdulillah," and not being not being humble, and all of these affairs. And then in an the instant, you look around, and the next year you're seeking sadaqa because you weren't grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tested you with that wealth. Do not be from those ikhwan. They're giving up your giving up sadaqa, especially to the to the masajid. It's something that will increase you in wealth and also purify your wealth. Sheikh Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala. He goes on to say, وَلَيْسَ لَكَ مِنْ مَالِكْ إِلَّا مَا أَكَلْتْ إِلَّا مَا أَكَلْتْ فَأَفْنَيْتْ Uh, and and he's uh, and he's gone. Oh, oh, la bista, oh la bista, oh la bista, oh that which you wore. To the end of this hadith, you will find this hadith in Muslim. You will find this number two thousand nine hundred and and fifty-eight. Wal baqi ta ta, wal baqi tarikhu li ghairi li ghairik. Wa hada wal haq. And uh, and the rest, and that which is left. Is left for other than you. وهذا هو الحق. And this is, and this is the truth. أموالنا التي بين أيدينا إما أن نأكلها ف ف ف فتفني. Either we're going to eat it and it will be gone. وإما أن نلبسها. Or that we will, or that we will wear it and so forth like that. وإما أن نتصدق بها. And that we, and that we will give it in sadaqa. فَنَمْدِيهَا and it will be gone and it will pass فَتَكُونُ أَمَامَنَا فَتَكُونُ أَمَامَنَا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ and it will be in front of us يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَإِمَّا أَن نَتْرُكُهَا وَإِمَّا أَن نَتْرُكَهَا لِغَيْرِنَا لَا يُمْكِنْ أَن يَخْرُجَ الْمَالَ الَّذِي بِأَيْدِينَا عَنْ هَذِهِ عَنْ هَذِهِ الْقِسْمَةِ الرَّبَعِيَّةِ الرَّبَعِيَّةِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to say, كَلَّا سَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ And in this, أَيْ سَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ إِقَابَةَ أَمْرِكْ بِالتَّكَاثُرَ الَّذِي أَلْهَاكُمْ عَنِ الْآخِرَةِ And in this, in this we, we basically, uh, is just repeating the same in this section. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says here, لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمِ And you will see the fire, ثم لا ترونها ثم لا ترونها عين اليقين and indeed you will see the fire and again and then without a doubt you will see it with uh, with sure sight 
لترون هذه الجملة مستقلة ليس الجواب this is on this this jumla is muta, is mustaqilla is not a jawab is not an answer for law wa li hadha yajibu yajibu al qari an yaqif inda qawli so it's a must upon the reader that he stops upon his saying kalla law ta'lamun ilm al yaqin nahnu nasma' kathiran نحن نسمع كثيرا من الـ من الـ من الأئمة يصلون يصلون ويقولون we hear a lot from the أئمة the Imams and you find them praying and they will be saying كلا لو تعلمون علم ال علم اليقين لترون الجحيم لترون الجحيم that he uh, you will find them connecting on these on, on these two ayat You'll find him connecting on these two verses. This is what the Shaykh is making tanbih, uh, calling attention to. So, وَهَذَا الْوَصْمُ إِمَّا, إما غَفْلَةٌ مِّنْهُ وَنَسْيَانٌ He said, either he is forgetfulness from him, or he forgot. وَإِمَّا أَنَّهُمْ لَمْ يَتَعَمَّلُوا الْآيَةَ حَقَّ التَّعَمُّلُ Or either he did not ponder upon, upon the verse, the, the true pondering. وَإِلَّا لَوْ تَأَمَّلُوا لَوْ تَأَمَّلُوهَا حَقَّ التَّأَمُّلْ لَوَجَدُوا أَنَّ الْوَصْلُ يُفْسِدُ الْمَعْنَى لَأَنَّهُ إِذَا قَالَ كَلَّا لَوْ كَلَّا لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عِلْمَ الْعِلْمَ الْيَقِينِ عِلْمَ الْيَقِينِ لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمَ that if he if he connects it صار رؤية الجحيم مشروطة بعلمهم that you will find that if he connects it like that you will find that the the ru'ya, the sight of the jahim of the hell, will become something which is which is a has a mushroot that it has a prerequisite that he ha, that he it has to be by his ilm. هذا ليس بصحيح. This is not correct. ولذلك يجب التنبو يجب التنبو والتنبيه لهذا. Because of that is 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 a, is a must to bring attention and be careful regarding this. من سمع أحدا يقرأ كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم. That if you hear someone reading it like this by connecting it, you you نبهه ويقول له that he uh, reminds him and warns him and says to him يا أخي هذا الوصل يهم فساد المعنى that this connecting of the ayah it uh, gives the impression uh, that it 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 it, it uh, corrupts the meaning of the ayah. It corrupts the meaning of the ayah. فلا تصل فلا تصل وقف أولا وقف أولا لأنها رأس آية. He said, do not connect that. But he said, do not connect that. But what you are to do is to stop. What you are to do is to stop. لأنها رأس الآية because it's the beginning of the آية. والمشروع أن يقف الإنسان عند رأس كل آية. And it is مشروع. It is uh, legislated that one that a person he stops at every ayah. وَثَانِيًا أَنَّ الْوَصْلَ يُفْسِدُ الْمَعْنَى That connecting it uh, corrupts the meaning. كَلَّا لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عِلْمَ الْيَقِينَ لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمِ You do not say it like that. Rather you say كَلَّا لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عِلْمَ الْيَقِينَ Stop. لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمِ This is what the shaykh is saying. إِذَنْ لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمِ جُمْلَةً مستأنفة لا وصلها بها بما قبله. That he said it's a, it's a jumla by itself that there's no connection with it with that which is before it before it. وهذا وهي جملة قسمية and it is a jumla which is of swearing. A swear, a swearing in it. Allah سبحانه وتعالى is swearing in it. فهي قس فهي قسم مقدر والتقدير. والله والله لا ترون الجحيم and it's a custom it's a swearing and also it's a, the estimation of it is والله the estimation of the meaning is والله لا ترون الجحيم that without a doubt you will see الجحيم and it has no connection to the eye which was before it ولهذا يقول المعربون فبهذا يقول المعربون في إعرابهم and from that, you will say, you will find those, and this goes into Lugha, as Shaykh uh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala was very, was very strong as it relates to uh, the, the language in itself. And he said, those who give i'rab, 
What does Iraq mean? For instance, you will have هَذَا كِتَابٌ Now, if someone says, give me the Iram, you will say, اسْمُ الْإِشَارَةَ مَبْنِيٌ عَلَى السُّكُونَ فِي مَحَلِّ الضَّمَّةِ فِي مَحَلِّ رَفْ And you will say, مُبْتَلَى You will say that this is اسْمُ الْإِشَارَةَ You will say that this is اسْمُ الْإِشَارَةَ It's a, it's a, what do you call that word? اسْمُ الْإِشَارَةَ It's an indicator which points to something, right? So you're going to say this is you're going to explain why it doesn't have a dhamma on it because everyone who studied Arabic know that the mubtada, the subject and the predicate always comes marfu' or he always comes with a dhamma or whatever represents a dhamma. So now you're going to explain a hada ismul ishara. You're going to explain that it's an indicating form that is shown towards something mabniyun al sukun and that is built upon the sukun and does that that sukun mabniyun meaning it does not change. Does not it does not change? Then you're going to explain that it's the mubtada that is the subject. Then you're going to go to kitab. You're going to say marfu'un bid dhamma. You're going to say that it's marfu'. You're going to say that it's marfu', meaning that it has a dhamma. Wa huwa mubtada wa wa khabar. It's mubtada here. It's khabar here. Marfu'un bid dhamma and it's khabar. That is considered to be what i'rab is. So he said from those who do, who are specialized in i'rab, they said that in the lamb. You said that it, that verily the lamb is in the place of a, a qasim. It's the place of a qasim. It's the place of swearing. Wajumla, wajumla. Uh, from from that ayah, la tarawunna al jahim. From that word, said he, here, jawab al qasim. That is the answer to that swearing. Wal qasim mahzuf, wa taqdir. And here, Ikhwan, is going to go into a lengthy thing as it relates to the lugha. And I don't want uh, some uh, people who do not understand it might get into something. That is uh, kind of uh, uh, outstretched, and I don't want anyone to lose sight of that which the Sheikh is speaking about here. Okay, we're going to move on to the next ayah. ثُمَّ لَا تَرَوُنَّهَا عَيْنَ الْيَقِينَ Without a doubt, you're going to see it with uh, surety of, of sight. تَأْكِيد لِرُؤْيَتِهَا This is تَأْكِيد. This is emphasizing that it's going, it's going to be seen. مَتَى uh, تُرَى When will it be seen? Tara yawm al qiyamah. It will be seen yawm al qiyamah. Yu'ta biha. Tajurru sab'ina alf zaman. And it will be brought. And it will be, uh, it will be brought and it will be dragged. Uh, um, with, uh, it will be pulled by, uh, what is it, uh, uh, 70,000, uh, what is it, rains? 70,000 rains. Kull zaman. Yajurruhu sab'ina alf malik. And every rain, from that seventy thousand elf will have uh, uh, will, will will have seven, what is it uh, seventy seventy thousand angels? Is that correct? Yeah. Let's say that correct. Okay. For you. Seventy thousand angels it will have. So is that comprehensive to everyone? That it will have seventy. What is what do we say? Seventy thousand rains, right? Okay. It will be seventy thousand rains. And how many malaika? Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand angels. And, and 70,000 uh, angel on each rain. So that shows you, that's what it says. 70,000 uh, 70, rains, right? Your brothers know this hadith, right? I want to yeah, make sure yeah, I'm not making a mistake. Right. 70,000 rains, right? And on every rain, it will have 70,000 uh, 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 it will have uh, 70,000 angels, right? Okay. So the, I said 99. I bet. No problem. So in this, so this shows you what the tremendous, the greatness of the enormity, the enormity of the hellfire. And what is this? You see how enormous it is that it, the hellfire will have seventy thousand rains. How it is? No, we're not going to get into that. We're going to stop where the people stop. Seventy thousand rains. That's all we're going to say. And every rain from those seventy thousand. Will have, each rain will have 70,000 angels on it. But in comparison to the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is it? It's nothing. Huh? Compare to the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is nothing. Huh? This shows you the enormity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His creation, and also it shows you the enormity of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
his self. So the Shaykh uh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he goes on to say, فَمَا ثَنُّكَ بِهَذِهِ النَّارِ He said, what is, what do you think about this fire? وَعِيَاذَ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّهَا نَارٌ كَبِيرَةٌ عَظِيمَةٌ لَأَنَّهَا سَبْعِينَ أَلْفْ زَمَامٌ He said that, what do you think about this fire? Indeed, it is a fire that is enormous and is tremendously expansive because it has 70,000 rains. And وَكُلُّ زَمَانْ يَجُرُّهُ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفْ مَلِكْ And every rain has 70,000 angels on it. وَالْمَلَائِكَ عِذَامْ She died. فَهِيَ نَارٌ عَظِيمَةٌ and they are malaika who are stern as we know. Those malaika around the hellfire, they are stern. It's not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the command. Uh, 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 Abdullah has to go on the hellfire. He does not get there and he runs game on the malaika as we say. He does not say, please, I, 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 I beg you, uh, uh, just have some mercy on you. Now if this will work, you al qiyamah. It will be nothing but the fire, ikhwan. It will be nothing but the fire that which will... That which is filled with men and stone, yeah, ikhwan. This fire is a tremendous thing. So it's a must that we contemplate on that. So the shaykh, he said, وَعِيَاذَ بِاللَّهِ فَعَاذَنَ اللَّهُ مِنْهَا May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we seek refuge with Allah from it. ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَنُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ And then that day, يوم القيامة, you will be asked regarding the na'im, those delights in which you had, يعني ثم في ذلك الوقت وفي ذلك الموقف العظيم تسألون عن النعيم and then at this tremendous and then at this at this time at this uh, a tremendous uh, 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 station at this great station you will be asked concerning those uh, uh, delights in which you are uh, delighted in in this life اختلف العلماء رحمهم الله في قوله لا تسألون يوم إذن عن النعيم that the علماء they have اختلاف regarding this ayah هل المراد الكافر is it understood what is is it meant by the kafir أو المراد المؤمن والكافر is it meant that is the kafir or is it the kafir and the مؤمن والصواب الشيخ وثيمين رحمه الله تعالى is it the صواب he said that which is correct. أن المراد المؤمن أن المراد أن المراد أن المراد المؤمن والكافر. Meaning that which is meant is the mu'min, is the believer, and also the kafir, the disbeliever. كل يسأل كل يس كل كل يسأل عن النعيم. Everyone will be asked concerning النعيم. ولكن الكافر يسأل سؤال يسأل سؤال توبيخ وتقريع but the the kafir he will be asked the question in a manner of scolding him in a manner of admonishing him والمؤمن يسأل سؤال تذكير and the believer will be asked a question which is something of of, of a reminder والدليل على أنه عام ما جرى في قصة النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم and the proof the, and the proof that it is something that is عام that is general is the قصة that you will find in the hadith of the prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم and we only have a little bit, a little bit more to go بإذن الله if everyone can be patient the kafir will be asked a question of what? What will the que- what the kafir will be asked the same question as the as the believer? The meaning of the question to the the, the kafir would mean what? Admonishment. Hmm? In the form of admonishment. Uh, admonishment, actually, more stern, uh, a scolding, a scolding. What would the uh, what the question will mean to the believer? What will be? Will it be for them? As a reminder, as a reminder. Pay. Shaykh Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala goes on now to present the hadith as it relates to Abi Bakr. Abi Bakr wa Umar fa'an Abi Huraira 
قال خرج رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات يوم أو ليلة the the messenger of Allah left and it was a day or was a night فإذا هو فإذا هو بأبي بكر وعمر and he is with Abi Bakr and Umar فقال ما أخرجكما من بيتكما من بيتكما هذه الساعة he said what has brought you out of your brought both of you out of your houses at this time قال الجوع they both said it is hunger يا رسول الله قال يا رسول الله قال وأنا والذي نفسي بيدي لا لا أخرجني لا أخرجني الذي أخرجكما قوموا he said the messenger of Allah he said to them the same by the one who uh, uh, my soul in his, is in his hand that I I was exited for the same thing both of you were exited so he said stand up فقاموا مع and they stood up with him فأتى رج فأتى فأتى رجلا من الأنصار so a man was brought from the Ansar فإذا هو ليس في فإذا هو في فإذا هو ليس في بيتي and he found that he's not in in his house فلم فلما رأته المرأة قالت and when a woman saw him she said مرحب مرحبا وأهلا قا فقال لها رسول الله so the messenger of Allah said to her صلى الله عليه وسلم أين فلان where is such and such قالت ذهب يستعذب لنا من الماء and he said he went out to seek something for a uh, 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 for us of water if jal ansari فنظر إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وصاحبه and the ansari came and he looked at the messenger of Allah and he also and he looked at the messenger of Allah and he also looked at his two companions who were Abu Bakr and Umar. ثم قال الحمد لله. Then he said, "All oh, praise is due for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala." ما ما أحد ما أحد اليوم أكرم طيافا مني. There is no one who is more noble towards his guest than me. قال فانطلق فج فجاءهم بعذق 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 فيه بصف وتمر. He said, uh, there's no one who's more noble than me towards his guest. So he came to him with a bunch of dates. All of these words are meaning dates. Bus, watamr, warutab. All of them are meaning uh, dates. But there's a, uh, because the Arabic language is so eloquent and precise, there's a different meaning for each one of these different dates. For the first bus, this is understood to mean that is dates, dates that haven't ripened. A tamr is considered to be dates that's dry. A rutab is considered to be dates that's uh, moist. Is that correct? Hmm? It's considered to be dates that's uh, moist. فَقَالَ كُولُوا مِنْ هَذِهِ So he said, eat from these. وَأَخَذَ الْمَدْيَةِ and he took the media, or you can say mudya, or you can say media. All of it is meaning sikkin. So فأخذ media, so he took the knife. فقال له رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إياك وال 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 والحلوب. He said, I إياك والحلوب. The حلوب here, as I understood, is this uh, milking process, huh? Is this correct? Milking process, the حلوب. فذهب فذبح لهم. so he slaughtered for them. فأكلوا من الشاة. so he ate from so he ate from this uh, the sheep. و ومن ومن ذلك العذق. and also he ate from that bunch of what bunch of dates. فشربوا فلما فلما أن شب أن شبعوا فلما أن شبعوا رأوا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم and at the time when they drank and they ate the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم 
قال لأبي بكر وعمر he said to Abu Bakr wa Umar وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِي لَتُسْأَلُنَّ عَنْ هَذَا النَّعِيمِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ after eating those dates and eating the meat uh, from the sheep which was slaughtered for them and they ate from it the Prophet ﷺ, the Messenger of Allah he said by the one whom my soul is in his hand without a doubt you're going to be asked about this na'im this na'im is this delight the delight in this life يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ you will be asked about it أَخْرَجَكُمْ uh, مِنْ بِيُوتِكُمْ الْجُوعَ and uh, uh, hunger brought you out of your homes. ثُمَّ لَمْ تَرْجِعُوا حَتَّى أَصَابَكُمْ هَذَا النَّعِيمِ And then you did not return until you uh, were presented with this delight. وَفِي رِوَايَةِ أُخْرَى هَذَا وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِي مِنَ النَّعِيمَ الَّذِي تُسْأَلُونَ عَنْهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And he said, by the one who my soul is in his hands, as regards the na'im الَّذِي which you will be asked about, يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ ذِلٌ بَارِدٌ It would be the shade, the, the cold, the, the, what would be the way to say it? The cold shade or the cool shade. وَرُطَبْ uh, طَيِّبْ <clears throat> Or the good moist date. وَمَاءٌ بَارِدٌ Or the um, or the water that is cold. You will be asked concerning this. Uh, uh, you will be asked concerning this na'im. يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَهَذَا دَلِيلٌ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ, على, على أن الَّذِي يُسأل, يُسْأَلَ الْمُؤْمِنْ وَالْكَافِرِ And all of this was uh, delil. And it was evidence that shows that the believer will be asked يوم القيامة concerning النعيم and also the kafir will be asked concerning النعيم the delight in which he had in this life. And this is showing that just because one is a kafir it does not mean that he's not going to have delight in this life. But يوم القيامة as Shaykh Uthaymin explained in Riyadh al-Saliheen, Yawm al-Qiyamah, he will be asked about this, he will be asked, not only he will be asked, but he will be punished for this na'im, from those things which he indulged in, in this life, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains in the Qur'an, that these, uh, these risk is only for the believers. So Yawm al-Qiyamah, Shaykh Uthaymin, said they will be punished for that which they delighted for in this life. But why? Because those delights were for the believers alone. Even though they were afforded the opportunity to partake in it, Yom al Qiyamah is still an answering for partaking in that because those provisions were only for the believers. وَلَكِنْ يَخْتَلِفَ السُّؤَالِ As you said, but the su'al is going to be different. Su'al al mu'min, su'al al tadkir, bi ni'mati Allahi azza wa jalla alayhi hatta yafrah. And he said, as we said before, the su'al concerning the believer is going to be a su'al, is going to be a question which is going to be a reminder as it relates to the ni'mah of Allah azza wa jal alayhi, and he will be happy. وَيَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الَّذِي أَنَعْمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ فِي الدُّنْيَا يُنِعْمُ عَلَيْهِ فِي الْآخِرَةِ And he will know why will, be he, why will he be happy because he will know that that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed upon him uh, has, has uh, given them virtue of have given the, 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 the virtue of that the, the, uh, um, in, in this life that يوم القيامة He's also going to uh, uh, give him have the same virtue upon him in the akhirah in the next life. بمعنى أنه إذا تكرم بنعمته عليه في الدنيا تكرم عليه بنعمته في الآخرة. What's the meaning that if he ha- if he presents him with this virtue and this nobility upon him and being good to him in this life, then the akhirah also will be the same. Will be the same for him in the akhir in the next life. Amma al kafir, as for the kafir, fa innahu su'al tawbiq, tandeem. Rather, is this yom al qiyamah for the kafir? This su'al is not going to be a question like they're, they're being questioned, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is expecting an answer. No, this is going to be a question of tawbiq, it's going to be a scolding. Like, you know, you're, you're speaking, you're, uh, for, uh, for instance, we're not saying this is the example of it. For instance, you're speaking to your son, and you're scolding, and you're asking, Why did you do that? You're not asking why to know why. You're scolding him, Why did you do that? So forth like that. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a su'al, su'al and tawbiq, wa tandeem. Uh, it's going to be a su'al of scolding, a, a question of being scolded, and also it's going to be a question of regret. This kafir now, the disbeliever on this day, is going to be regretful. And we know without a doubt, uh, we, we know without a doubt the kafir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained to us that he's going to be re- regretful. 
in the ayah. يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْكَافِرُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابًا On that day, يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ The kafir... Uh, the, the, the kafir will say, يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ If only I was dust. If only, if only I was dust. Because the dust now doesn't have to... Doesn't have to have a hisab. Because some of the ulama, they have... Uh, there's a long uh, questioning of it regarding who will be uh, uh, taken account of the animals and so forth like that. Shaykh Uthaymini explains that in explanation of, uh, I believe, Al-Nazi'at, uh, uh, no, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, uh, just, uh, what is it? Naba. Uh, he explains that in Naba. And this is not the time or the place, bi-ithnillahi ta'ala, to get into that. So Shaykh Uthaymini, rahimahullah ta'ala, he says, Nas'alallah ta'ala, an yasta'amilana fi ta'ati. He makes dua. For everyone who listens to this or hears it or reads it, he said, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he uses us uh, in regarding his, uh, in his ta'a, in his obedience. That he uses us in his obedience. When yaj'al, when yaj'al, when yaj'al ma razzaqana, aw razzaqana awnan ala ta'ati. And that he, uh, he, that he, he makes that which he has given us of provisions uh, a aid upon in, in obeying him. Innahu uh, ala kulli shay'in qadir. That innahu ala kulli shay'in qadir. That indeed he is he ha, he's all, he has power over all things. And this is a, a small a summarization, a summarization of uh, the words of Shaykh Uthaymin. And some of it we had to skip because of uh, not wanting to cause confusion to anyone as it relates to how, how Sheikh Uthaymeen explains the Lugha. And bi ta'ala, this is the last session uh, from, this, uh, from this blessed uh, uh, seminar in which our brothers here, uh, Masjid ibn, uh, ibn Abbas, set up in order to aid the people, to aid the community, to aid the Muslims, to aid the Salafis in worshiping their, their Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I wanted to also can, uh, convey my thanks to all of the brothers, as we said before, for allowing me to uh, 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 be an aid in disseminating that which uh, uh, the ulama wants us to know and benefit from them bi ithnillahi ta'ala. And a reminder to all of us. As we know from the hadith, in the al-a'mal bil khawatim, that all of our deeds, or in, the, or, in, or in the ending deeds, so this is a reminder for us, do not be from those, just because you've been upon obedience, you've been upon the sunnah, you've been uh, upon tawheed, you've been obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some of us might have been 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, never become secured with yourself and think that tomorrow you can't wake up and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees something in you and allow your heart to go astray. It's a must that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya, ya, ya muqallib al-qulub thabbil qalbi ala deenik That are the one who is the turner of the hearts. So make sure that we memorize and try to make that dua Ya muqallib al-qulub Thabbit qalbi ala deenik. O turner of the hearts, make my heart firm upon your religion. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, uh, to reward all of you with good and give you the highest places in Jannah for the brothers and the sisters. And we ask everyone to make dua for us. Bi-ithnillahi ta'ala to make us from, from the mukhlisin and make us from those who, uh, 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 who uh, uh, implement that which we say, and do not be from those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about when He says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, lima taquluna ma la taf'aloon, kabra maqtan inda Allah an taquluna ma la taf'aloon, that we do not be from those who are, which Allah speaks about, O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? And that it's egregious, it's egregious statement with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you say that which you do not do. And I, I, we ask Allah to not make us from those who, uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in His glorious book, 
that ata'muruna an-nasa bil birri wa tansawna anfusakum that you will not be from those who command the people with good and they are with, with, with righteousness and forget our own selves and with this we will end bi idhnillahi ta'ala wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa jazakumullahu khairan